Hey guys, it's Zena here and today I'm going to show you guys how I do my nails. And I always do my nails at home just so I don't have to go out and spend a ton of money. I'm just very cost efficient and on top of that I just don't feel like walking out the door and it's pouring out today. So let's get into it. Okay, so first steps first. I'm going to take off what's left off of the remnants of the glue from the last time because I either ripped them off or they fell off. So I'm going to do that with the electric file, turn that on and then fly away. And dust off all the remnants. Normally, I will use an alcohol wipe or dehydrator and put that on my nails as well. But I ran out of those, so I'm just going to skip that step. So I'm going to use this package this time. These are individual false nails. They come in different sizes already pre-packaged. I'm just going to find my sizes from this bag. So as you can see, they're all already numbered with the sizing that it is. The larger the number, the smaller they are. So we're gonna change my nails from looking like this to this. I do have to cut my nails regular old nail clipper now time for the glue so each one I just hold for about 10 seconds don't you guys love that sound so hard to pick them up. 100% gonna shorten these. Those are done, that's clear. And now you cut them. This is the nail cutter. So it doesn't really matter which way you do it, this way or this way. I believe it's supposed to go this way just because it, the beveled edge goes away from you. So if you tilt it inward towards you, it's gonna create literally a U shape. So your nail would curve this way and make a U. So if you angle the tool this way away from you or away from the nail, then it's gonna create a U shaped just like your natural nail. But if you cut it straight, it's gonna create a straight. So if you angle it outwards like this, the U shape is more curved out this way. If that makes sense. It's curved this way instead of the opposite way, like up here. Instead of this curved, I don't like this length though, so I'm going to make it even shorter. And this is cutting it straight. It creates a very square, boxy look. I'm just gonna cut them all down. And when you cut these, they don't have to be perfect because I'm just gonna use the electric file and file them a little bit more anyways. So this is what you get left with. Kind of looks like a, a clear French. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is change out the drill bit into the cylinder one. Turn it on. And then just shape them and get rid of the sharp edges. I just have a baby wipe and I'm wiping off all the dust that I created from filing this. I'm just gonna wipe that all down. 
Okay, so instead of the very boxy look, this is what I have. It's like a coffin ballerina shape. I just have to fix the bottoms of these because there are little plastic pieces that haven't actually been filed off yet. So just gotta switch the drill bit and fix those. So now I have to put the base coat on. And just a thin layer of this is completely fine. And it's just gonna go in for 30 seconds. So usually it's already preset on 30. Why I already have color and everything on is because I forgot to do part of another video. So I'm doing it now. Oh, super excited. Gotta show you guys. But I got some new colors. And even though this is a light purple, a darker purple, and then you have black, the essentials. This is white, even though the colors on the outside is gray and a peachy tone. So these are all my new, new colors. Super excited about them. I think what I'm gonna use is the purple. So this is from Are You Sugar and it's color gel. I'm just gonna cover all of the previous color. Gel color, it always is a little bit tacky, which makes it perfect for putting on gems if you want any on there. So I have some choices here. I have this palette with rose gold, gold and silver. There's little balls and shapes that I can put on. These ones are just silver reflective gems, all different sizes. These are gems as well. There's dark, white, and also like a multicolored one. And I also have this one, which is very small. These are little balls and um, looks like little flat pieces that you can have come up out of your nails. So what I'm gonna do, what matches with purple the best, because my jewelry on is already silver, I think what I'm gonna use is this color right here. It's like a, a white gem. I'm just gonna put a light coat of top coat. So I'm just gonna put that on where I would want the gem to lay, because then it'll be an even top coat. I'm just gonna dump a few out. And what I like to use to put those little tiny gems on is a little tweezer. So these are my tweezers. They're just needlepoint tweezers. Very sharp. Then I just pick them up and I'm going to put these at the base of the nail. And here, this is where you can just be creative. <laughs> so these do get a little tricky sometimes to get a handle of. And the gemming is done. And then this goes right into the UV. And then you put another top coat on to seal them. That is it. I'm sure a lot of Nail artists probably don't do this, and I don't know if this is the correct way of doing it, but this is what I found to work the best with my nails. And this is what they look like when they're done. So you can see the difference between the pink and the purple. I'm going to finish this hand off now. You can really tell which hand I'm dominant in.
Hmm. Am I happy with that? Yeah, why not? And then for the thumb. These are all upside down. And just bake it for another 20 seconds and we're good to go. Okay, and this is what the nails look like when you're done. So that's the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you guys can get some inspiration or learn how to do your own nails. Make sure you tag me on my Instagram or my socials and let me know how you did. Comment down below if there's anything that you would change or maybe I should try. So make sure you like and subscribe and also hit the bell at the bottom because now this isn't the only way to get notified you every time that I upload. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye!